The day April 18th is a very special day for me. Eight years ago on April 18, 2010, I gave my life to Christ. I remember sitting in the pews at the church camp of Walnut Creek Community Church, and it was Mission Sunday. And I was just hearing updates from different missionaries from our church that traveled around Europe, just updating on their trip and the gospel. For several months at this point, God had been reaching out to me. The gospel had been communicated multiple times. And I remember going up to my friend, Terry Amen, and telling him, Pastor Terry, I'm ready. Today I'm ready. And that day we went through the sinner's prayer. He gave me a Bible. I took it home. And one week later I was baptized in the church. And I've been a part of Walnut Creek ever since. But little did I know that eight years later, on April 18, 2018, that I'd be celebrating another milestone. That milestone's 1,000 pastor visits at the Iowa Capitol. If you would have told me nine years ago that someday I'd be facilitating pastor visits at our Capitol, I would have laughed at you. I maybe would have thought of uh, bringing a thousand cases of beer. But a thousand pastors? What God has done in this time has just been absolutely incredible. And what a joy it is to bring the gospel of Jesus Christ to the area of government. You see, I've been involved politically most of my life. I've, I've always had an interest in government, and I loved history. I actually originally went to school to be a history teacher. But I never imagined that someday government would become a missions field. And God's changed my heart so much in this area. I'm not even close to who I once was. Today, my passion is not to convert people politically. It's to be there to bring the gospel that can transform them spiritually. And it truly is a joy to go to the Capitol on a daily basis with different pastors from around our state bringing this message. I was very pleased that my friend Terry Amen joined me on this day. And just looking at him across that table, I just thought, wow. What a journey we have been on, and we just spent some time reflecting what God's done the last three years of the Capitol Project to get us to the point of a thousand pastors. But how strangely it began many years before, eight years ago, at a church here in Des Moines, where God led me to him. So I'm thankful and it is truly an honor to serve the Lord here at the Family Leader Foundation.